right off the bat explain to the world where we are. I call it the atrium. You know I'm a dreamer. This was the award for when it was at 40 million. 40 millies. My recording studio here at home in Calabasas. You've made a ton of great music in here, haven't you? Tons of stuff here. Dude, I pinch myself probably on a daily basis. Yeah! At 58 years old, Motley Crue's legendary drummer Tommy Lee may have evolved from his wild ways, but he's still rocking out. Tomorrow, Tommy drops his first solo album in 15 years, Andro. Explain this album. I separated all the female energy tracks and I separated all the male energy tracks. That's where the title came from, Andro, which is, you know, sh abbreviation for androgyny. I covered a Prince song. It's called When You Were Mine, which yep. is mind-blowing. And you look at back in the day, you guys really were very andro with the way you dress. Full it, on. I mean, <laughs> it was crazy. We were there with you <laughs> in 1985. Uh-oh. This is your first ever ET interview. Oh my God. You can bop to it, you can, you can, you can shake your fist to it. Wow. It's just a good throbbing rock and roll. What a trip. <laughs> what a trip. Wow. What would you tell them? Put a helmet on. <laughs> that was right when it was about to. And to commemorate the release of Andro, Tommy's wife, who nearly two years, 34 year old Brittany, gave him an unbelievable gift. Okay, open up. What the? She takes my Rolls Royce and wraps it in the album colors. My Rolls is half pink and blue. And it's got my name on it, the album artwork and stuff. But I'm this is- drive this around? Yeah, do all your own. You don't have to hire a publicist. In many ways though, she has been like kind of the perfect partner for you, hasn't she? Totally. I think everybody's a, l a little crazy. She's got- Super good crazy. I spend a lot of time when my cheeks hurt because we laugh a lot. Tommy's inner circle of friends is fittingly a motley crew that includes John Travolta. Tommy has been there for him after the devastating loss of his wife, Kelly Preston, in July. How's he doing? He's doing really well. Um, I just talked to him yesterday. Um, his kids are doing wonderful. His, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't ease the pain at, at all. But what a lovely man. He's probably the sweetest man I think I've ever met.